little fat dimensional pages now. Here's a plain piece of cardstock. A dimensional page is one that still has um, an additional hinge on it which allows you to place more pockets, tags, embellishments on your pages either side but it is a single piece of cardstock. So the first thing you need to do is determine your page size and then allow another half an inch which is going to be your hinge that's going to stick onto your spine. So you take your page and you score down half an inch. And then you're going to score that probably do it both ways but just do it gently and you'll be able to decorate this side and this side but this is your hinge. When you come to stick your hinge in it's slightly different to sticking a pocket page in. You can see I've got arrows here so I knew which was the right way up and on my hinge here it can either be a hidden hinge or a stacked hinge I've only put double sided tape on the front facing piece of each spine flap and I always start from the back and work towards the front and the difference is I've also not trimmed the corners and you'll see why in a minute. Take this off here, take my double sided tape off and then your page once it's completed I'm showing you this not decorated but I would always stick my pages in once they were decorated your half inch here, this is half an inch, I'm going to line it up, line it up there. Again, if you're not sure, use a little bit of collal, burnish very well. Pull back that way. So when your spine is actually working, you can see your page is there, but it will lie flat and the next one will lie flat on top so it allows for extra dimension pockets and tabs etc. So that is a dimensional page stuck onto um, a stacked hinge but you could stick it onto a concertina or hidden hinge as well if you choose. So that's that one.